This is DLK Lego presenting my brand new Lego Star Wars set, you guys. What's up? So today we are going to be doing a review on 71040. This is the Disney Castle. This is 4,080 pieces. This go. This is enormous set. And as you guys can see, this does not come with... These do not come with the set. I bought these myself, and it is lucky to have this, you guys. So this is who I bought it from. Uh, buy some stuff from them. They're a very good play, uh, place to buy. They're great, and I use that for this. And I will hurry and show you guys what it looks like with the colors. Uh, I think in the thumbnail you guys can see it happening like this, but just for you guys to see. So, for right now, we're actually gonna turn off the lights, and right here you guys can see. Okay, we're gonna press this button right here. We're gonna switch it on in three, two, one. So guys, this is a different color changing light castle. And as you guys can see up here, we have the lights going on and off. And then we have the lights up here, lights up here, more lights in here. And here, of course, and then we have the two lights on the side. And I will not be showing this in my collection, in my Lego room. There's not enough room, but I do have a uh, shelf on the outside to show you guys. But later on, in a video or two later on, but... I will go right on back to turning the lights back on and turning these off. And I'll go back and I'll show you guys the inside view of it also with the lights. And just so you guys know, it looks a lot better without the all these wires and that. It's a lot more a lot more fun to look at and a lot nicer. But yeah, so right here we have the five characters. So, I put them in this order because I thought it would look best like this. We have Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, and Tinkerbell. And so, these guys are the main uh, five characters in the Disneyland place. And it, Tinkerbell is famous for her magic throughout the Disney castle itself. And this is a huge base. So, we're going to be doing the outside review right now. So, we have the wall that goes along all the way up here. Over here, we have very nice detailing. This is all stickers. All of this is stickers. This right here is the sticker. This and this are prints, though. But then we go along here. We have all the stickers still, stone stickers, more stone stickers, and forget the wiring, you guys. We have the princess and the frog. Uh, this is the reference for it. Is because the king, the crown for it shows like it's a princess, and that's what they did instead of like doing a room for it. And this is very well decorated, you guys. They put a lot of effort into this. Tried to make it as best as they could. This is a great set, and all the towers look like this. Very well done. I love this. And we go up. We have the golden spikes and all that. We have the flags all flying the same way. The wind and all that. And we go up. Up, up, and away. Disney. Uh, then we go over here. We have windows. Forget the wires, as I said before. Not really into it. I wish I could kind of get rid of them. Then we have the balcony up right here. We have firework shooters right here. I will show you how uh, how they really work on the inside a lot better. And then we just have the top, the steeple up here working. And that. And then we just keep on going up. And then we go move on to this tower. So we go from there to here. We just keep on going up. We have the main tower. And then we just go up, 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 and there we are. So this is the very tippy, tippy, tippy top. Pretty tall, you guys. And this is at least two feet, easy. 
So I'm going to hurry and turn it around. I'm going to sit you guys down for a sec. It is a tad bit hard to move. So I'll just hurry and sit you guys right here for a sec. And then I will turn the Disney castle around. Okay, you guys. We're back. And this is the Disney castle from the inside. Trying to cover that up. Don't want you guys to see that. Oops. But, uh, so we have the main things about this. Uh, we have the main, uh, we have all these wonderful things that Disney has made on the inside. So we open in the back of it and we have Aladdin's carpet. I'm sorry, you guys. It's kind of hard to see. We have a Aladdin's carpet and the genie bottle. And then we have two knights on either side. Lights coming out, torches, flower pot, Big Ben, or uh, uh, Grandfather Clock, I just call them all Big Ben, uh, wall of shields, and then you guys can see this is the chandelier, and then here's a dance floor, and these do these doors do open, let me hurry and open them for you, and they do open they're very nice quality with it very well looking and that is an absolute great thing so we move on we have right here we have the kitchen this is the main kitchen of where they have all the stuff this is where cinderella is uh where she normally is cooking and all that and this is like the biggest part of where cinderella has this is the cinderella castle part and then we just go up, we just have wine, uh, bottles, pumpkin, some more food, oven, and we have some pots and pans, broom, and all that. And we move over, we have Beauty and the Beast section. So this is the candle, the candle dude with the rose, and this is like the dance floor for it. And I will show you guys in a second, uh, we have a secret compartment in this. But I will show you guys in a, that in a second. So we grab right about here. We can take this. Oh, whoopsie. That fell off. But we can grab right about in this area. I think I'm going to grab from right here. That this can come off. So I'm going to put this off right here for right now. It's going to be a weird angle. But so right here we have Brave, the Disney princess, the redhead. And we have the wires. These are the different colored wires. This is the back of it. I know this isn't the prettiest part of the Disney castle. But I would like it to be shown. It's pretty well detailed back here too. We have it back here. And we have another little tower right there. Very well detailed. We have an archery area. As I said before. This is the brave area. We have the three uh, cookies or tarts. Bow and arrow. Uh bullseye and yeah and i will put this back you guys see if i can grab it there we go and here we have it you guys so that is the main floor of it i know i'm going a little bit faster than i normally would you guys uh but this is a big set and yeah so right here you guys are like wondering oh this is a wonderful place for a thing and i'm like yeah that's that's very well and they put that detailed really well detailed but they're like oh it moves so you move this and that's what it looks like from the front very well detailed part so it's like a little secret compartment right here we have cinderella's book and then we open this up this is Once Upon a Time. Very nice book. I love it. And then you guys, I didn't show you guys this in any of the live streams, but this is Cinderella's glass shoe or uh, glass slipper. But this is the glass slipper in a little container, as you guys can see. And I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but... Hopefully you guys can. That is a 
gonna be kind of a little bit of a spoiler for you guys for you guys that don't have the set and that yet and and up here we have the Mickey's magic room we have the two mops right here we have a mop back there we have a magic book with Mickey's magic hat and we have some buckets full of water seen in uh, Disney's magical uh, Mickey's magical time and then we move over here the it's kind of like a walkway we have Sleeping Beauty's uh, spindle that she pricks and then of course she falls asleep for uh, I don't even know how, how long anymore but then we move up we have a royal bed pretty much this I always whenever I looked at this I always thought it was uh, Sleeping Beauty's bed personally I've always thought that and yeah with the curtains and this is the room where it has all the lights coming out on the front part and we move up here we have Mulan this is with a chest you guys can take the chest out we'll just leave that you have her hair you have scissors and a brush very well popular for that and I'll leave that there so right here we have the fireworks these can be tilted up and down with this sim simple mechanism and you guys can press these buttons right there and they will go flying out. You guys can see they're only studs connected. Whoopsie. And then we have just uh, just have uh, the chest that goes right here which fits very well with it. Very nice. And we go up. We have mirror mirror on the wall or uh, Snow White. As you guys can see, we have the camera itself, and I did get a new phone today, thankfully. So this is hopefully a lot better resolution. So you have the Apple right there, and then we go up. There's nothing special about this right here. And then we go up, we see the tower. This is the inside of the tower where someone can stand, probably Tinkerbell. And yeah, so that is it from the inside of it, you guys. But I will hurry and do a quick light show for you guys. And I'll just set that right here for a second. And I will show you guys with the lights on. So we're going back to the darkness. And I'm taking the camera. And you guys can kind of see that. But now you guys can see it with the lights. So at the very top we have two lights. Connect up there, we go down, we have the light on the room, we go down even more, we have a bigger light, and we just move on, we have a room, a light in the bedroom, Mickey's house, we got one in here also, we got one in this tower, and then we go down, one in the kitchen, one in the oven, and one right above the oven, and in here we have a lot of lights. Of course, it is a ballroom. And we go down here, we have all the lights you guys can see. We've got multiple lights right here. Very nice addition, I think, personally. Except for all the wires. If it could they all could be wireless, that would be great. But it's understanding they aren't. And over here you guys can see that these are the flashing lights that uh, you guys saw before and let's see if I can turn this castle one-handed don't know if I can but hopefully I can and whoops there we go messed that up and that is it you guys thank you guys for joining me this was a great video to make hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time bye